to do is first we're going to teach you how to handle the leash. All right, and this is where most people fail because the first thing people want to do is this. That's me. Okay. <laughs> Backfire. Back, right, 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 right. The thing is, is when you do that, you actually encourage bad behavior. Loose leash is what teaches the dog to differentiate between right and wrong. Loose leash means right. Okay. And the other thing that's really hard for people to to, to understand is uh -huh, please, sit. Good. Is they have to get rid of this. They push pull. Okay. It's not no, 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 no. Because that just creates an opposition reflex. All right? You fix the leash in your hand. Your hands never move. Okay? So even when you're holding the e collar in such a way, you can still hook your thumb in your pants pocket. And all I have to do is just simply tap. She's tired. That's good. Tap, tap, tap. Sure. Yeah. Tap. Right? Good. Tap and turn. Right? Good, good. Kennel. Here. Very nice. See that? And my hands never moved because my hands don't need to move. Mm -hmm. And the thing that people don't understand is everything you do physically becomes part of the cue. And we don't want that. We want her looking at our faces. We want her looking for our hands, but when she sees our hands are inert, she starts realizing, oh, okay, I get how this works. Because the more humans have a tendency to hyperventilate or get overly aroused, we start talking with our hands. Well, to a dog, it's nonsense. It might make sense to each other, but it doesn't make sense to them. All right, good girl. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to have you step in. Excuse me, it's okay then to, uh, well, you have the dog walking to your left side. Dog's on the left. Heel okay. is left. And it's okay to also hold the leash with your left hand because, because I Because you have the e-collar right. in your right hand. Okay. Yeah, there, those, those uh, I haven't updated that document in a okay. while. Uh, there is a conflict regarding leash handling between right. the e-collar document right. and the, right. the, uh, the, the, uh, Word document. Right. And basically what you want to do is when you have the e-collar, the leash is in your left, the e-collar is in the right. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert your thumb just like that. All right? Everything comes out the bottom of your hand because that way she decides that she wants to fight with you. She's not going to be able to get away. Leave it. Good. What you want to do is make sure, now you're a little bit closer to her in height than I am. So what you want to make sure that you have just enough room, leave it, just enough room for her to be right without getting into that battle. All right. So for you, it's probably going to be about this much if the dog is at your side. So we'll play with that in a minute once we get it on the ground. You can insert your left thumb in there. Big fist. Everything. All right. Out. Leave it. Your e collar is in your right hand. Index finger on the top button. Leave it. Index finger on the top button. Middle finger on the bottom button. The thumb rules a dial, but like I said, leave it. You don't want her to go, you don't want to start climbing up the dial a little bit because it's already a preset. All right, so five plus seven is 12. You don't want to keep her out. You want her to enjoy the experience. Mm -hmm. All right, if she's blowing you off at five, leave it. Leave it. Sit. Good. There you go. Just like so. Now, when you turn and invade your personal space, you're going to turn this way. And when you invite her off the table, your left leg and your left arm at your side, you're just going to start her. Tap, let's go. Tap, let's go. You tap with your, you're not going to tell her tap, you're going to tap with your <laughs> It's okay. Let's go. Good. Now you're going to turn towards your right, all the way around. Tap, 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 there you go. I cannot be clear enough. Though, That's guess. why you're here. By the time I think about... Oh. You'll get used to it. Out! Out! Do not let her invade your personal space. If you don't like it at home, don't let her do it either. So out versus leave it. What would She's nudging. She has contact. She's yeah. acquiring. She's already doing it. Out is to, per to stop that. Leave it is don't do it anymore. Out is what she possesses. She currently possesses your personal space. Tap, 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 and push the Good. Good. Good girl. She's kind of fudging around a little bit. So we're going to work on the here skill with her. Um, and again, see what's happening? You've already let go of the leash, and you're letting it just play out. Okay? If you allow her to take leash, she's going to continue to demand more leash. Keep close contact. You own the leash. 
You give her what she needs to be successful. You don't just play that one and take it. All right? Thumb. Two finger, index finger. Hold the thumb like that. Big fist. That's why you get skinny boots. You get little tiny baby boots. See that? Little tiny You get what? Man they're man. They're man oh, they're are man you kidding me? They're little man hands. You need to look at that. Come on, look at the difference of size there, girl. Look at that. All right, thumb, fist. All right. And again, because we're working her at a very close range, we want to make sure that we only give her enough room to be right. But if you back out and start bailing and start giving her motion and more leash, now look at how much room she has to be wrong. See how that works? Stay close. You use what you need, and that's it, okay?